Hey everyone, it's Sarke, and I am really unmotivated to do this video. I've been thinking up video ideas, or trying to think of anyway, video ideas pretty much all week, and I could make it easy for myself and do a character reference, but I don't want to. I just, I don't want to, and it is... It's hard to do something and like it when you don't want to do it in the first place. And um, I did, I sketched this and thought, hey, I can do a watercolor. And I really liked sketching. I had really fun sketching and then I, I put it down and I don't want to paint. I don't want to line. I, I keep touching all my art supplies here, my ink tents and my kurekake and the watercolors and the gouache and I just don't want to. I I just don't want to. This is Nobuko, by the way, Kaza's younger sister, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, so scrapped for now. I'm probably going to finish that for a video when, when I start feeling like... I think I don't want to finish stuff right now. I just want to sketch because I've been I've been sketching. I have. Uh, I've been doing a lot of sketching. So that's not a problem. I definitely want to draw. I just don't want to do anything finished. I, I just want to doodle. <laughs> so what I'm going to do to make... A video with some substance because my I did a doodle vlog not too long ago where I just doodled a bunch in my sketchbook so it feels like it feels a bit repetitive to do that again so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do some continuous line drawings um, and or continuous line they're gonna be blind contour drawings that is what they're gonna be so I am gonna be drawing without looking at my paper I'm gonna have a reference up on my phone I actually I intelligently went and looked for my reference pictures before. So uh, this is the one I'm going to start with. Um, and then I have a whole bunch saved here. So um, that's that. There we go. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at my phone and I'm going to blindly draw. And I'm not quite sure about the setup yet. Okay. Some minor technical difficulties, as always. But we're all set up now. This thing here is my iPad. I'm going to be looking at that because I realized if I if I have my phone next to the sketchbook, I'm I'm going to have to if I have my phone next to my sketchbook as I draw, it's going to be really easy for me to see what I'm doing. But if I have the iPad over here, at least I'm looking in a different direction. So, um if I'd done this, it hadn't been a completely blind contour. Blind co contour is great for practice. Um practicing drawing what you see rather than what you think you see and um, I guess it's a bit hand-eye coordination too it's been a very long time since I did it last so <laughs> we'll see what it turns out to be this is probably going to be some very abstract line drawings I'm going to use a regular pencil lead and I'm going to turn on some music for myself Well, it traveled. <laughs> I realized this wasn't going to work when I um, lifted my hand the first time. I didn't necessarily lift the pen, but I, I moved my hand on the paper. And uh, that's what happened. I definitely, because this is the contour of her face. And her neck. And this is her hand. And 
hand down and then I did her sleeve here and then I went up because I wanted to do her shoulder so this should have gone up all the way up here and this is her hair so it, this you can see it should have traveled way higher uh, everything else here hangs together pretty well because this is the front and this is the skirt this is the back her arm and her legs um, so that part hung together pretty well I wish I'd done her face too while I was up here that I'd sketched in her eyes because she has a very pretty face and because I can now afterwards I'm gonna add in just a few details because because I want to um, I'm still doing the continuous line thing I just I wanna I wanna give her face I think I made her chin very long too But it definitely got the shape down pretty well. Her nose is a little short. There. A little bit of an addition. if they should overlap. <laughs> today is... what is it today? 9-17. I am way ahead of myself. Okay, next... let's see. Next I'm gonna draw... I think I'm gonna do another girl. Girls are fun. Here's one. Uh, but I'm gonna draw her, so I'm gonna find her on the iPad. There we go. And we're doing our next blind contour. I'm going to try and do this without moving my hand this time and see if it actually helps. This is gonna look, oh, I lost it. Mm, I am gone. Oh. That's unfortunate. I felt very um, confident there for about a second. And I'm lifting my hand because I can't get all of the drawing in. Oh well, we'll see what happens. I see a lot of people when they do the, apparently it's a challenge to do the one continuous line drawing or whatever. And I see a lot of people who, they just retrace their lines. They don't necessarily just go out of their way. Because um, I like tracing the shape, um, like the curve of things. So what I'm doing here right now is that I'm, like I follow, I don't know how to explain it. I can explain it when I get... Actually, I'm going to skip the last part. The bottom part is uh, just her skirt there. Her face ended up here while her head is here. But the first contour went pretty well because I went chin and the face. And then I took... She has um, her hair and then I went for the ear. And then I went down and up again. And that went pretty well, actually. Um, and then I went way out there. So that's where it started going wrong. Um, but as I was saying about the contour, um, that's the that's the neckline <laughs> and her neck. So it's it's very very far down. <laughs> you can sort of see like it is a person. Um, but yeah, people who do the one line challenge, continuous one continuous line challenge, they don't retrace a lot. 
which I find is um, counterintuitive because you can get a lot more character into your drawing if you do a lot of retracing or shaping because here you can see I did her elbow and her wrist. I followed sort of the curve of that body. I didn't give her fingers this time. I think it's because like on this hand uh, one finger is into the other and I think that's why I went. I, I was probably gonna add the other ones actually. Let's add. So I was gonna do this I think and then she has such long beautiful fingers this girl. Oh that one might be a little bit skinny. I think I drew her hands very big too. Um, they're actually very slender. Um, like that. I actually don't want to do much with that because you can... I, I really like this part because that turned out really nice. Even the little neckline is very far down. So let's put a number two on that one. Uh, let's see, next. These two girls. I feel like I draw very big um, and it just gets bigger as I travel because I don't have a complete, I don't know, I don't look at the picture in its entirety, that's way too high. Uh, I look at it in parts and I think that's something that um, might Im impair you. Sorry, I'm listening to music too, that is not helping. Uh, when trying to do the uh, blind contour, because seeing the whole shape might actually make it easier to position other parts. Because I get lost in the details a lot. She doesn't actually have a hand. Neither of them do. Oh, that's, that's great that they don't have hands. Don't have to worry about that at all. I've moved my hands so much now that this is going to look fantastic. I am so lost. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> like, I'm impressed I managed to travel her legs back to pretty much where they're supposed to be. I definitely didn't go far enough down. What was I thinking here? I got their height difference right, because this girl is shorter. But this traveled way too far to the side. Her face turned out better than this one, because I did the circle and the face ended up on the side. Here the face is pretty much in the center. Do I want to do more? Mm. Let's do one more. Okay, well, I guess we're taking this one with the ice cream boys. I've actually used this as a reference before for a sketch of Lucas and Alex. I think I did a video on that, it was a digital one. This is the picture I'm gonna reference. So yeah, we'll see how that goes.
Damn it. Oh, I'm already lost. I find that clothing is the thing that turns out the best in these blind contours, but it's more about the folds, and I think that is something that is helped a lot by uh, blind contouring, is that you concentrate more on the shape of the clothing rather than making it looking frick. I am going to tell you that I looked at my sketch only briefly, but I realized I was close to the page and that was, or edge of the page. That did not help me at all. <laughs> and that's why I looked. I am so far up the page now, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I left it my pen. I am, I am so lost. Go big or go home. Oh gosh, it is so bad. <laughs> yeah, I traveled. That did not go well. But it's an interesting thing to do. It's great for warm-up too because the, do a bunch of these on a piece of printer paper that you can just throw in the trash later and then you are all warmed up to do some cuter stuff. These boys are so adorable though. And when you're warmed up, you can do them proper justice instead. Not that I can ever do anyone proper justice. Realism isn't my thing. You can't actually see the top of his lip, but I don't care. So this isn't a blind contour, obviously. I just wanted to draw one of them a little better than uh, what I did here, because they're so pretty. That's, I guess that's a thing you can do. Uh, do um, a blind contour of the reference you're using first, and then use it for whatever reference purpose you need. That might be something that um, can help you. I actually haven't thought of that before. I learned something new today. Here we go. One cute sketch among all of these. Though I I liked this first one and this one. Actually, I like all of them. Let's just put it like that. I like all of them. Let's just put a date on this one too so that we don't think it's from a different day. There we go. So, some blind contour and a little bit of a doodle at the end. That was fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please do, if you haven't, take a moment to subscribe. If you want to see more videos from me that are art-related, I have social media everywhere, basically. You can find me there, and I have stores. Until next time, keep on scribbling, friends. Bye! Bye.